Fishing the Midwest is presented by Larson FX, the multi-species, multi-use boat that's ready for whatever you are. Beautiful Cabotogama Lake, Gateway to Voyagers National Park, Suzuki, the ultimate outward, Strike King, Tie One On, P-Line Fishing Lines. Hi, I'm Bob Jensen. This is Fishing the Midwest. Thanks for stopping by. We're at Hanay's Marine in the Twin Cities. They've got everything you need for your boat to go fishing. I'm headed to Lake Cabotogama in Voyagers National Park in northern Minnesota. Now, I've been to Cabotogama, I don't know how many times we've had tremendous action for crappies and smallmouth bass and walleyes. Today we're after walleyes. It's early June. We're with Travis Carlson. Here we go. We're on one of my favorite lakes of all times. You know, I've, I've had the good fortune to go to a lot of places fishing, but Lake Cabotogama, Cabotogama Lake in Voyagers National Park has just for a long time been one of my favorites and it just keeps getting better. That's the key. When we first started coming to Cab, oh, I don't know, 15 years ago, it was good. Now it's great for a wide variety of fish. Today we're with Travis Carlson. We're gonna be chasing walleyes. The plan is to get after them in shallow water. It's that time of the year where they move into the shallows, but. You know, we'll see what happens. We're gonna start out throwing eighth ounce jigs and, and, and we'll see what happens. I got this one, Bob. You lift him, swing him. Yeah, a little sauger. There you go, sauger. You're seeing more sauger? Quite a few more sauger, yeah. I mean, this is a smaller version, but we've got a lot of them, you know, up to 16 inches even. Yeah. Is that right? And now it's changed a little bit up here. The, the, the regulations have changed a little bit. Sauger and walleye are part of the mix for your total limit, right? Um, actually, so the limit is you can keep six walleye sauger combined, but no more than four of them can be walleye. And they actually just changed the slot. Uh, 18 to 26 is protected now, so we can keep up to 18 inch walleye. There we go. There we go, that's a nice walleye. There we go. Well, he hit it right up there, what, four or five feet of water. Travis? Yeah. There we go. There Very go. nice. Very good. Now, would that be an eater? You could keep that guy, couldn't you? Boy, that's close. That's a nice one there. Be a good eater. Yeah. Very good. We're not Very eating good. them today, so we're uh, going to throw them back. Yeah. To good. We'll make a good one. Good. Our thought going on the water today, it's that time of the year where the walleye should be shallow, four to six to eight to ten feet, somewhere in there. That's where they should be. But the fish don't always play by the rules. You know, weather has a big impact on that. And uh, we fished some shallow areas, caught a couple little northern pike, caught a few little walleyes. And we caught, actually caught a couple really nice walleyes, but not in the numbers we'd anticipated. So we do what you do when the fish aren't biting. You do something else. And we went to deeper water. So when we left the shallow water, we knew we could, we'd have to rely on our electronics. In the first spot we pulled into, we marked a nice school of fish. We stopped and immediately got a bite. Boy. And you know, we're working along and thunk, it's that classic walleye taking it, just solid. And it's just your line jumps a little bit, just thunk, you can almost hear it. He was down there, we moved out to this deeper water and there he is right there. It's a better oh, one, isn't boy. it? Yeah, that's a... nothing wrong with that. <laughs> They're fun to catch right oh, there. Oh boy, yep. And he just, see, he's got in there pretty good, doesn't he? Well, he, t he, he was hungry. Yeah, yeah, I like that kind of. I mean, we're starting off with nice fish, 22, 23, 24 inch walleyes right on this spot here. It was fun. You know, we just came out here off this point here in uh, 37 feet of water, marked yeah. some fish on the locator and Thought we'd, why not? Let's try it. Out there, there. And, yeah. and we talked about that earlier, didn't we? Yeah. In deeper water, if you, see, you don't fish until you see them. And he's, I mean, he's fat. He's spawned out. Spawned out, but uh, that's, that's a beautiful cabotogma oh fish. Yeah. Nice color, fat. Yeah, yeah. And there's more of them down there, too. Got it, and he whacked it pretty, oh, he's right here. 
There he is. Oh, jeepers, Travis. Oh, there we go. Man, oh, man. Another nice one. Another nice one. Travis, this is interesting. We're catching fish today from four to 40 feet of water. I mean, we're trying shallow water, going across, if we see them in deeper water, is that a thing you do all year or is that kind of a, a summer type deal? You know, that's pretty common this time of year, Bob. And uh, e even in the summertime, if you get a good wind blowing into those weed lines, you know, once we get some weed growth, anytime we get some wind blowing in those weeds, I'll go in and fish shallow. But on a calmer day like this, sometimes out in deeper water, um, and that's pretty common all summer long. We're celebrating Vexilar's 60th birthday by giving away this sonar unit. Stop by our website, fishingthemidwest.com, to learn how to enter and to see all things Fishing the Midwest. Fishing the Midwest is brought to you by Alexandria, Minnesota, the Alexandria Lakes area, Minnesota's hidden gem with 350 lakes conveniently located in the heart of Minnesota. Diamond Buick GMC, experience the diamond difference. Beckman Nets, Vexilar, 60 years of helping anglers catch fish. Every angler has his favorite tools, a particular bait, the right rod, a net that never lets one get away. But all of these mean nothing if you don't have the ultimate tool as your foundation. Larson FX is your multi-species, multi-tool platform with tiller and dual console models ranging from 17 to 20 feet. Everything you need for catching any fish you want. Larson FX, are you ready? Visit your local Larson FX dealer or head to larsenfxseries.com for more information. We rise at 4 a.m., driven by an overwhelming passion. We're driven by the beasts that roam the waters of this great country. We don't think about stress, or bills, or Monday. We're fishermen, always ready. And as for the gear we hold, trust is everything. Never again should you sacrifice strength for style. The Team Lose Pro TI Speed Spool. Built for anything you set the hook on. Lake Cabotogoma in Voyagers National Park is your year-round destination for experiencing nature at its finest. Enjoy the solitude of the pristine wilderness while having all the comforts of home available at the many full-service resorts. The fishing is world-class. So are all the other outdoor activities that are abundant in all the seasons. Cab is the perfect place for your family or group of friends, and Cab is an easy drive from anywhere in the Midwest. Cabotogoma Lake in northern Minnesota. Discover Cab now. Closed captioning on Fishing the Midwest is provided by Offshore Tackle, the leader in trolling technology. Japers, boy, when you get on them, what's yours feel like, Travis? Mine's not very big. Mine's not, no. Yeah. Mine's, mine's small. Mine's a little smaller this time, yep. Mine's an eater, yep. Getting that well, A couple of shore lunch fish yeah, right there for doing absolutely. shore lunch, Will. Huh. Now they were how deep? We were in that uh, 35, 35 foot range. Yeah. yeah. Huh. Isn't that something? Boy, and right there at the same spot. I mean, right in the same spot. Uh, we're working along and we take several nice fish and, and, and that's what you do. After you take several, you kind of pay attention to what it is that's making them bite, what it is that's working. And uh, we're just finding that uh, the fish are in deep water. So we figure, you know, we're probably going to spend some time here. We might move over to shallow water a little bit to see if they move in there, but it looks like this is going to be a deep water bite for much of the day. 
What I really like about Cabotogma is there's all sizes of fish. If you want to go out and get enough for a shore lunch or a fish fry that evening, you can. If you want to go after some really nice big fat walleyes, we got them too. Travis, I think I've been coming to Cabotogama for probably, I don't know, 15 or 20 years, something like that. And I mean, the fishing is certainly world class. But the thing that always impresses me is we look, there are no, there is no development here. I mean, just that one little area where there's resorts and there's no development. And as I understand it, it's going to stay that way. Yeah, there's several hundred miles of undeveloped shoreline and it, it's what brought me here. It's what brings a lot of people back, a lot of my customers that I, I fish with year after year. I mean, that's, they always comment on that and uh, it's why I call it home. That feels like a decent fish yeah. right there. Yeah, he's been in that rod. Yeah. Oh yeah. Huh. Got the old walleye whip to him. You know, we move around on this deep water in particular, catch a couple, and, and if we see them down there, it seems like there are eaters and there are guys just looking around. They're, they're really, That's you nice gotta find fish the, here. Yep, yeah. You gotta find the biters. Oh, a little closer trap, there we go. Got him, nice, nice, oh gosh. These are nice, healthy looking fish. I mean, the, the spawn is just over, isn't it? What, a couple weeks? Yeah, the spawn's been over for a couple of weeks and... Uh, yeah, they're fattening up a little bit now after that spawn. That's one thing about Capitogma walleyes, Bob's. You know, you go to some other lakes and, and, and they're skinny. And Capitogma is known for fat, you know, just beautiful looking walleyes. Is that right? Yep. We had gone out with the intent of fishing shallow water. So I had a lot of rods with mono... I had all my rods with monofilament, six and eight pound test. And when we, it worked fine, but when we got to that deep water, I really wish I would have had some rods rigged with XTCB 8 P line braid in 15 or 10 or 15 pound test, and then had a, a, a tactical fluorocarbon leader tight on that because that braid in that deep water really enhances the sensitivity and it really helps you uh, uh, get better hook sets. Boy, we're not moving. Where are we sitting? I, right on. I hit the anchor button on that Minn Kota and it's got a little smaller one, but they're in here. Yep. Travis, you moved up here, oh, I don't know, a number of years ago. And uh, you've been on the water, you know, how many days a year? Uh, a, lot of, a lot of days a year. And what changes have you seen in Cabotogama since you've come up here, I don't know, since the uh, turn of the century? The biggest change as far as fishing goes is that slot limit has really improved the size of the fish. Um, you know, when I moved up here, it was, we could keep one over 23, and then they bump it to 28 for a few years, and now we're at 26. But that has really grew some nice sized 23-plus um, inch fish, and they're, they're what's fun to catch. Ah, there's one. This one feels better than Travis. This one feels much better. <laughs> man, man. Oh, boy. We got all sizes right here, don't All we? sizes right, yeah. Oh, look at this guy. Yeah, all sizes right. You, you just caught that, what, 14 incher, 13 incher? Just 30 seconds ago. Boy, that's fun right there. When you can sit in a spot, you know, you can, get, you then, can pick up plenty to eat and you catch some of these. And, and look where he's got that jig. I mean, this guy is hungry. Look where he's got that jig. You know, again, I've had the good fortune to catch a lot of fish in my life and a lot of big fish. I never get tired of it. I never get tired of it. There's always a thrill to just catching fish. Feel something at the end of your line, there's always a thrill. But when it's a nicer than average fish, that is really a thrill. I, I, I will never tire of that. And that take, I mean, it's just so walleye-like. I mean, it just, just hangs on. You know, in the shallower water, they were thunking it pretty good. Here in the deep water, they're just hanging on. Yeah, that one took your jig pretty down pretty good, didn't he? Let's go ahead and get him back in the water. Fishing in the Midwest is made possible by Core Ice. Expand your seasons. Hanes Marine. There are 10,000 lakes in Minnesota, but only one Hanes Marine. Big Stone Lake Tourism. Minnesota's hottest perch lake. Aqua Traction. Advanced marine flooring. Toughness has a soft side. Knowledge is power, and the Element Sonar GPS series from Raymarine gives you the upper hand when hunting for fish and their habitat. 
Down vision, side vision, and real vision 3D views are delivered in rich 1.2 megahertz hypervision chirp sonar with amazing lifelike clarity. All this capability comes from Element's compact hypervision all-in-one transducer. Fish smarter, above and below the waterline with Element from Raymarine. Beckman Nets are back, and that's going to make lots of fishermen very happy. Beckman Nets are the best for both the fishermen and the fish. Beckman's coated nets are fish friendly to ensure the release of fish's safety. Beckman Nets come in handle lengths up to 9 feet, and the one piece yoke is incredibly durable, while the Quick Connect channel allows for an ultra fast connection of the handle to the yoke, and the features go on and on. If you need a new net, and if you don't have a Beckman, then you need a new net, check them out at participating fishing tackle dealers. We rise at 4 a.m., driven by an overwhelming passion. We're driven by the beasts that roam the waters of this great country. We don't think about stress, or bills, or Monday. We're fishermen, always ready. And as for the gear we hold, trust is everything. Never again should you sacrifice strength for style. The Team Lose Pro TI Speed Spool. Built for anything you set the hook on. Core Ice expands your seasons by building houses using their revolutionary lightweight IntelliCore panels. These true structural composite panels are lightweight yet durable, extremely well insulated and waterproof too. Core Ice also offers models using their patented hybrid wheel skid system for the ultimate in portability. With models and configurations to fit the needs of all winter anglers, consider Core Ice and expand your seasons. Visit our website to find a dealer near you. Hannay's Marine has a huge selection of boats, pontoons, and accessories priced to fit any budget. Our knowledgeable and experienced team will help you select from top fishing boat manufacturers, including G3, Larson, Basscat, and Yarcraft, and pontoons from Crest and Suncatcher. Now's the time to take advantage of manufacturer rebates and great financing rates under $222 a month. Visit www.under222.com for more information. Your boat, your memories, our business. Hannay's Marine, keeping you on the water. I'm gonna net with one hand and fish with the other hand. I, this is too good a bite to just take my jig out of the water. There he is. Ooh, what a nice one. Boy, oh boy. Just a nice one. Look at that. I'll take that. You concentrate on this. Okay, I'll catch you. Now, you know, we've got shiners and fatheads in the boat. And some lakes are shiner lakes, and sometimes, you know, they prefer fatheads. What do you find out here? Although I generally use fatheads, Bob, I always like to have a mix if I can because you, you just never know. I mean, I've been out with you at times. We, we start with one thing thinking it's the right thing and then we catch them on something else. So have an assortment. It's the same thing uh, later in the summer. We use a lot of leeches and crawlers. I always bring a few minnows. And today they really don't seem to be showing a shiner or fathead preference. I've caught them on both today. They don't seem to be showing a preference, but you know, a lot of the time I like to have shiners, fatheads, leeches, and crawlers in the boat because you just never know. We can't make them take something they don't want. We gotta give them what they want. So we're fishing early June. Uh, we're running about a week behind water temps. And uh, that's, that's why we had actually more success in the deeper water day. Normally we'd be pitching those jigs all day. Uh, today we had better luck in that deep water. Travis, it seems like this deep water deal is the, is the thing today and, and jigs are just tearing them up. And sometimes we think about jigs and, and we think jigging and we're thinking, you know, all this action on the jig, that's not always necessary. And in some cases, a very subtle motion is, is even more productive, isn't it? Well, that's absolutely true. Sometimes even just dead stick in that jig will catch more fish. Yep. And the biggest thing, you know, when I'm out with a group of people and you got one guy catching more fish than another guy, it's not always the color you worry about, but it's that what action is he doing? What's he doing different? Yeah, that's right. And uh, these fish are tight to the bottom. 40, 40 feet down and they're right in the bottom, so we do not need to be lifting up high because they're right you know, within a foot of the bottom. So just keep that jig subtle. We got back to that waypoint, there he is. Uh, 
Uh, do you find that the walleyes that are, you know, when you find a school of them, they're about the same size, or do you find different sizes in each school? Well, sometimes a little of both. I mean, I've ran in where it's, you know, it's the same size copy of each other. And other times, like today, they're just, it's, it's a mix, and this is the way I like it. I mean, catch, catch a few keepers, and then you get a big one. When we're walleye fishing, actually, whenever we're fishing, sensitivity is such an important thing. And rods are a big part of the sensitivity equation. I'm using a couple different loose rods in these deep water walleyes, and the sensitivity of these rods will truly put more walleyes in the boat. Now here's something, Luz has a new line of walleye rods this year that will be outstanding for jigging, rigging, and other walleye presentations. Be on the lookout for the new walleye rods from Luz. Good one. Yeah, he feels good, Travis. He's, you know, oh, to me they all feel good. Could be another bike. And we made a fast run there. Uh, see him yet. There he is. Oh, not a nice bike. <laughs> you know, Travis, we talked about uh, uh, sometimes they prefer fat heads, sometimes they prefer shiners. Jig color does not seem to make a difference today. You know, it's they're not showing a jig color difference. I've tried three or four different colors and caught them all. Yep, yep, me too. I've been using a different color the whole time. Yep. And both catching them. And what's that? A Twenty-three inch or something like that? Yeah, he'd be going close to yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Boy, out of that deep water, I mean, he just stayed down fighting good. Oh, that's fun. I enjoy that. There's a resort that will fit anyone's needs at Cabotogama Lake. On this trip, we stayed at Arrowhead Lodge. Very comfortable and scenic accommodations. Fishing the Midwest is made possible by Distinctive Cabinet Design for all your commercial, residential, and retail fixture cabinetry needs. Lose, feel the difference. Hey, drill ice augers. Drilling ice will never be the same. Ray Marine, simply superior. Distinctive Cabinet Design manufactures commercial millwork, retail fixtures, and residential cabinetry. Serving the homeowner on up through the general contractor, there's no job too small or too large. Whether it's custom kitchens for the homeowner or retail fixtures for hospitals, hotels, casinos, banks, and more, Distinctive Cabinet Design can do the job for you. Visit their website to learn more. Distinctive Cabinet Design, serving Minnesota and the entire country since 1999. Every angler has his favorite tools. A particular bait, the right rod, a net that never lets one get away. But all of these mean nothing if you don't have the ultimate tool as your foundation. Larson FX is your multi-species, multi-tool platform with tiller and dual console models ranging from 17 to 20 feet. Everything you need for catching any fish you want. Larson FX. Are you ready? Visit your local Larson FX dealer or head to LarsonFXSeries.com for more information. Here at Diamond Buick GMC of Alexandria, we have a simple goal for your new or used vehicle buying experience. Customer satisfaction. Our friendly, knowledgeable sales staff will work with you in a no-pressure, hassle-free environment. We also have an accommodating service department that will work hard after the sale to guarantee your continued satisfaction. Family-owned and serving Alexandria and all of West Central Minnesota for over 25 years. Visit us in Alexandria at Diamond Buick GMC and experience the diamond difference. Alexandria, Minnesota is a multi-season, multi-species fishing hotspot with more than 300 lakes to fish, world-renowned bass fishing, booming walleye populations, and top panfish and musky opportunities make Alexandria an angler's dream destination. Plus, Alexandria has a vibrant downtown, great golf courses, miles of ski, snowmobile, and bike trails, and fantastic dining and lodging options. If you're looking for great fishing and family fun, consider Alexandria, Minnesota for your next vacation. Hannay's Marine has a huge selection of boats, pontoons, and accessories priced to fit any budget. Our knowledgeable and experienced team will help you select from top fishing boat manufacturers, including G3, Larson, Basscat, and Yarcraft, and pontoons from Crest and Suncatcher. Now's the time to take advantage of manufacturer rebates and great financing rates under $222 a month. Visit www.under222.com for more information. Your boat, your memories, our business. Hannay's Marine, keeping you on the water. Lake Cabotogama in Voyagers National Park is your year-round destination for experiencing nature at its finest. 
Enjoy the solitude of the pristine wilderness while having all the comforts of home available at the many full service resorts. The fishing is world class. So are all the other outdoor activities that are abundant in all the seasons. Cab is the perfect place for your family or group of friends. And Cab is an easy drive from anywhere in the Midwest. Cabotogamo Lake in northern Minnesota. Discover Cab now. Ooh, he's staying down, isn't he? Yup. How heavy line do you use, Travis? Eight pound. Eight pound? I use six. Six or eight is a good way to go for this. Get you down there. And these are three eighths ounce heads, aren't they? Yes, they are. 35, 40 feet of water. Yeah, he's staying down. There he is. There is another. Oh boy. Ah, another nice one. Look at that. Jeepers. And we're taking a lot of these, what, 22, 23 inch fish. Is this unusual? No, not at all. Not at all. There's a lot of these. No kidding. I mean, lots of those guys, but still plenty of eaters as well. Yeah, we've been having no problem get, getting those, you know, 13, 18 inch keepers. Uh, it's just really nice to catch some of these big ones mixed in with them. Something that really gives me a lot of optimism for the future of CAB is the, the size range, the year classes. I mean, we caught tiny little eight inchers and we caught up to almost 25 inches and a lot of sizes in between. And that is a sign of a very healthy fishery. It's another nice one. Definitely got some shoulders here. Nice fish. These guys out here, they're all, well, this last school we've been through, they're just all nice, nice walleyes, wherever you go. Yeah, you know, there's some smaller ones in there, but there's a lot of these nice 22 inch fish. One last thing about cap. I mean, it's the fishing that brings me back all the time, but there are other things to do. There's the Ellsworth Rock Garden. It's a little place up there that's just very scenic, a nice place to take a break during the day and look around. If you've got youngsters in your group, there are beaches you can take some time off during the day to go swimming and that sort of thing. And uh, there's kayaking and canoeing. Uh, very good opportunities for that too. Uh, you can get in out of the wind because there's lots of islands. And then there are places along the shoreline where you can have a shore lunch. And they're designated places. And you go up there and have a shore lunch, you know, take the, 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 the walleyes or the crappies you caught during the morning and go up and and uh, it's just a nice break during the day. Cab, it's absolutely a world-class fishery. It's absolutely a world-class visitor site. That's it for this week's episode of Fishing the Midwest. Thanks for stopping by. Join us again next week for more of the Midwest's best fishing action and fishing education.